Hello viewers, welcome to the section Advanced Analytics with Unsupervised Learning. In this section, we will learn about Introduction to Neural Networks and Neural Network in R. Now we move on to the video Introduction to Neural Networks. In this video, we will learn about types of neural network. What are neural networks? Neural networks are one of the most interesting machine learning models. Neural networks are inspired by the structures of the brain. Neural networks are algorithms that mimic the functioning of the brain. They are unsupervised algorithms, which means that we do not always know what the output should be. Neural networks have layers, which can be categorized into input, output layers, middle. The input layer consumes the data, and the output layer represents the result. The middle layer represents the part of the algorithm that indicates how the input layer gets to the output layer. Now we will learn about the different types of neural networks. The simplest type of neural network is known as a feed-forward neural network. It feeds information in one direction only, from the front to the back. This type of network is also known as a perceptron. Neural networks can also feed information back down through the layers. One method for this process is known as back propagation which feeds back through the system to generate the difference between the target and actual output values. Next, we will dive deep into back propagation and feed forward neural networks. In back propagation, training a neural network involves discovering values for its weights and its bias terms. These are used in conjunction with the input values to create outputs. After much iteration, the model is tested for the purposes of becoming a full production model that can be used to make predictions. In feed-forward neural network, training a neural network model is a key part of the cross-industry standard process for data mining as an integral part of the modeling phase. Training involves working out weights and bias values that lead the inputs towards the preferred output. As part of the training process, the model can be presented with the test data to evaluate its accuracy. This will help us to understand how well the model will perform when it is given new data and we don't know the true output results. Further, we will look about evaluating a neural network model. Another fundamental phase of the CRISP-DM methodology is the evaluation phase, which focuses on the quality of the model and its ability to meet the overall business objectives. If the model can't meet the objectives, then it's important to understand if there is a business reason why the model doesn't meet the objectives, in addition to technical possibilities that might account for failure. It's also a good time to pause and consider the testing results that you have generated. This is a crucial stage because it can reveal challenges that didn't appear before. There are several performance measures for neural networks. You can view the results as receiver operator characteristic, ROC, curves, precision recall curves or lift curves. Additional data visualizations could include a confusion matrix and cumulative values for the area under the curve. In this video, we learned about the neural networks.